Okay, somewhere along the line of making these videos, I uh, deleted the video where I'm showing how I run the 1200mm uh, wire into the down tube and into the bottom bracket. Um, so I'll just show you real quickly. I just took a long wire and fed it down through this hole right here, which is where the rear derailleur um, cable normally hooks up where the outer wire hooks up into there and then goes down the tube uh, as a bare wire and then exits uh, down here as a bare wire for the rear derailleur and then a uh, fat cable um, five millimeter cable comes out from here so what I did is I just enlarged this hole just a little bit to be able to get the uh, wire down here get the e-tube wire down here so that e-tube wire stretches down here and it goes down and it, it's going to um, exit in here into the bottom bracket. So in the next videos you'll see where we're connecting um, the down tube wire that comes from the display unit to the derailleur wire in the hub and the, uh, and the junction. Okay. Through some of the wire selections that I made, um, we already showed you where I'm using a 12 millimeter wire coming down the down tube and I'm going to use a, a 600 millimeter wire that's going to come um, from the seat post down this, down this uh, tube here and it's going to come out into the bottom bracket. I chose a 750 millimeter wire that's going to go, um, it's going to exit the bottom bracket here through this little um, cap that goes, uh, comes with the bike. It's going to come out this, the rear derailleur cap is going to come out of there under the bottom bracket go along down the um, chain stay and then into the uh, rear derailleur so that's a 750 so I got a 750 this is a 600 and then I got a 1200 um, going down there and um, that should be it so let's go ahead and feed the um, wire that comes from the seat post down the tube and I'm going to use this little wire that I've already fed through. Okay, now I'm going to feed the seat post battery a wire down through the seat tube right here and it's going to come out the bottom bracket. So I just have a wire so I'm just going to pull that through. They've got a little piece of tape on there. Pull that through. And it came out. I'm put the seat post in early and now we have our wire coming out the um, coming out the bottom bracket okay now that I have my three wires uh, coming out here I got my rear derailleur wire my display wire and my battery wire and I'm just connect that, connect them up to my junction box here now so first I'm going to connect my display wire use my little tool here to press that in it doesn't matter really where you connect these on the um, junction box and then I'm, this one's going to go is my rear derailleur wire, so we're going to connect that up there. And then my battery wire. Okay, and then that's all going to get tucked up into the tube up there. Okay. The uh, battery wire looks a little long because I have my battery, my my, my C post uh, contracted right now, so the, some of that wire will get back up to there. So the next thing I have to do is run my derailleur wire down the tube here, and then I'll go in and be done with uh, my wiring setup. Okay, one thing I forgot is you got to use the dummy plug on any of the exposed uh, ports that you're not using. So I got to put a dummy plug on there and pop that in place so that keeps that sealed up. Okay, now I'm just going to run the wire that comes out from the uh, bottom bracket here down to the, down, down to the uh, rear derailleur. I'm just going to use some little zip ties right here and put these on these little brackets that are attached onto the Scott frame. So I'm just going to temporarily just going to tag those on there. We're going to leave some room here for the rear suspension to move. Just gonna tag that on there and just go all the way up until we got all these on. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the other side. The wires can come out of the bottom bracket for the rear derailleur, it runs along the bottom of the chainstay, 
comes up here and attaches to the rear derailleur. So I basically have all my wiring all set. So now I'm going to put my bottom bracket in now that I get my wiring in and move on from there. Okay, before I put my bottom bracket in and seal up the bottom bracket cup where I have all my DI2 wiring, I want to make sure that I have all the wiring exactly like it needs to be because once I put this in there, I won't have access to my DI2 wiring. So I'm going to, I just hooked everything up. I'm going to test it first to make sure it's working right. It seems to be working good. Because if I had it all, uh, all the wires in there, and then I had already put my bottom bracket in, then I'd have to remove the bottom bracket, which is a pain in these press fit uh, bottom brackets. Um, you need a special tool to get them out. Um, so I just want to test that first. So now that I know that my confident that my wiring is all good, I am going to put my bottom bracket in.